So before every home base workout, you need to make sure that you're warming up. Reason being is you want to minimise your risk of injury, increase your force production and make sure we're able to contract and relax our muscles as quickly as possible. So for the first part of the warm up, you're going to be doing the pulse raiser. So we want to be jogging on the spot for 30 seconds. That's it, keep breathing. And nice, and then we're moving into happy cat, sad cat. 10 repetitions. That's it, making sure that we're raising through our upper back and tucking our chin in. Next, we have the world's greatest stretch. Okay, so you're going to get yourself into the press-up position. Take your right foot onto the outside of your right hand. You're going to take your right arm, sink down into your hips, and then rotate out following your palm. Alternating each side, so five reps on each side. That's two. Keep looking at that palm. Six, seven, last three. And ten. Feels like the, the workout's already begun. Okay, next up. Inchworms. We've got inchworms. Okay, so yet again, you're back down in the press up position. You're going to walk your feet up towards your hands, keeping your legs as straight as possible. Okay, so making sure we're getting our hamstrings nice and lengthened as well as our ankle mobility increase. You can step out of it. That's three. Okay, just as far as you can manage. Don't try and overstretch. Almost there. making sure our back straight as we come back down. Next up we have squats. Okay, so making sure that our stance is about hip width apart or slightly wider. Our toes are pointing out two o'clock on the clock face. Keep your chest up, looking forward, flat back throughout. That's halfway, so controlled on the way down. Explode on the way up. Last three. Lunges. Lunges, okay. So hands on the hips or out in front of, in a running motion. Chest up nice and proud. Looking forward, focus on something so you can maintain that stability through your ankle and knee. One, two, three, four, five, halfway. And last one. And glute bridges. Glute bridges. So we're lying on our back now. Keeping it nice and flat, hands down by the sides. Move your heels in towards your glutes. And then you're going to thrust up towards the ceiling. Hold briefly at the top for a second. And then back down. Great glute activation exercise. Good for controlling most bodily functions and movements. Warm up done, we're ready to go. So welcome to session A of the home hip workout. Today we're going to be doing a full body circuit. We're going to be working for 40 seconds and separate that with 20 seconds of rest. So the first exercise we've got on the menu is the burpee. Okay, we're going three. Two, one. So if you want to challenge yourself even further, you can do a press up in between. So 
get down quick and explode into the air. Make sure we extend those legs out fully. Okay, so no half reps. And keep it up, back straight, all the way down. There you go, you've earned your first recovery. Next, we're going to be going into squat jumps. So again, getting down nice and low, and exploding up into the air. Not too bad so far. Just keep going. Okay, big swing of the arms on the way down. Then reach up as high as possible. Keep it continuous. So make sure you find the pace that is appropriate for you. We want to make sure we're working as hard as possible though. See, it really starting to feel the burn in the quads. This 40 seconds might feel like a lifetime, but we're almost there. And take that 20 seconds again, because we'll be moving into the press up. Okay, so upper body exercise, working our chest and triceps. Okay, good pushing movement for developing that upper body strength. Here we go. Nice straight line going from the spine down to the hips, all the way through to the ankles. Keep those elbows tucked in. So we're making sure we're not putting too much pressure on the shoulder. So keep your head down throughout. So no looking up or looking down. No dips in the hips, no bums in the air. If you need to take a quick recovery in between, do so, but obviously I don't need to um, just yet. Oh, saved by the bell. Right, enjoy that next 20 seconds, because we're going to be going into the plank. Nice recovery exercise, good for core strength, okay, and core strength helps with force transfer, okay, stability, and also rotational movements such as if you're playing a game of tennis. Down onto the floor, again, straight flat back, no bums in the air, no dips in the hips. Okay, to make this more challenging, just squeeze through the core, Squeeze your glutes, okay, and you really start to feel it fire up. Again, keep looking down. Okay, so we have that nice neutral head position going all the way through the spine, down to the hips and ankles. Really starting to feel the burn now. Last five seconds. Another break up. Okay, moving on to the next one. So we have the high knee. No, we don't. I'm lying to you. Yeah, we're doing the lunge next. <laughs> okay, so again, alternating each leg. So left first, followed by right. Really push off a bit to get yourself back into the middle. Hands on hips or out in a running motion. So really pushing off that floor, back to the middle. Okay, and then from the side view, you notice how my shin is vertical. Okay, so this part right here. So we're not going over or lifting our heel off the ground. We're sitting down, straight into the movement. Posture, nice and straight, looking forward to wrap. Again, great exercise for developing that single leg strength. And if you have any imbalances between limbs, another perfect exercise to have in the toolbox. Right, to make things a bit more difficult, we're gonna add in an extra difficult cardio element. So high, high knee sprint for 40 seconds, again separated by your 20 second break. Five seconds to go, and then we're gonna hit it. H-I-I-T. And go. See, it knees nice and high, using those arms. Keep going. We're almost through part one of the circuit. So 
Again, it's all about posture when you're sprinting. So again, stay nice and upright. Imagine you are being held up by a fish hook. 15 seconds to go. Over halfway. Last 10, stay with me. You say bowl of bronze go. Let's go. Last second. And break. We're going to be now moving back into another core element. The sit ups. Nice traditional exercise. But it really starts to burn through the core when you're fatiguing. We love it though, we love the feeling. So again, nice flat back. Tuck your, tuck your heels in. If you need to use your hands for this exercise to get yourself up, do so. Then reach up again to make it a bit more challenging. If you struggle to do this by yourself, get your parents to sit on your shoes or your feet, or potentially put them underneath a chair or a sofa. Sit, good control as well throughout, really feel the crunch at the top. Last five seconds. And we're back up, here we go, recovery. Well needed. Next up we've got the mountain climbing, so back into the press up position, driving our knees in towards our chest, whilst sustaining that nice flat posture that we spoke about in the previous exercises. Right, get ready, so down on the floor, driving those knees in towards our chest. Again, if you're feeling brave, up the levels, and just go for it. Okay, we're running. Don't forget to breathe. No passing out here. Halfway. Okay, you'll really start to feel this through the shoulders. Okay, that's keeping your body upright. And you're also going to be working through your core. Last 10 seconds. Almost there, five seconds. Keep going. Maintain that form. And we're back up. A little bit of sweat. Uh, maybe, maybe make sure you get a um, towel beforehand um, and wear appropriate clothing at all times. The next exercise we have is the V sit. Really great core exercise, not only for your abdominals in the middle, but also your obliques at the side, okay? Fantastic movement. So we're lying flat, and we're going to get our hands and feet to meet in the middle. Okay? If you've got little T-Rex arms like me, sometimes it is hard to reach up at the top, but again, just go as far as you can. So you can touch the floor at the bottom, just to give yourself a brief break, but ideally, you want your feet and your hands raising at the same time. Oh, full of energy. Here we go, next up we've got the squat thrust. So another shoulder burner, but also you'll be feeling that through the core and just the whole body in general. But we're still gonna make it. Here we go, three seconds left. Down onto the floor, nice flat back. Double legs, into the chest, in and out. Okay, try and stay as bouncy as possible, okay, just think bunny, it's good stuff, also a good exercise to coordinate as well, so we're challenging all of our physical attributes. Towel break, and we're back on it. Excellent work, almost there. So next up we have the shoulder press push up. Okay, so very similar, but this time our bums will be raised in the air. Okay, just to allow us to put a bit more tension going through that shoulder joint. Okay, so we're here. Good, good control. Nice and steady on the way down, explode on the way up. 
Almost there on this one, we're halfway through. Keep breathing. And think about that reward at the end. I know what I'm gonna be treating myself with. <laughs> Last five seconds. Ooh. And break. Fantastic. Next up, we're gonna be moving into our final exercise. The tricep dip off the chair. So, move your sofa out to the middle of the living room. Extend your legs out. And then we're going to bend at the elbow, okay? So targeting our triceps at the back of the arm. Making it continuous all the way through. Whew. There we go. Did someone say Armageddon? Because these triceps are on fire. Almost there. Kind of. Halfway. Whew. Keep breathing. This is the final exercise of part a of hit home workouts. Like last 10 seconds, so let's feel the burn now. Just keep powering through it. And break. Fantastic. So that is circuit one. If you're feeling up to it, try and do it two times through. And as you start to progress, maybe a third time. Good work and keep it up. <laughs>